Uh, with baseball season opening up, uh, Major League season has started, the Red Wings kick it off this week. Minnesota has had an active off season. Uh, does this does this speak well for what we're going to see in town this year? Well, I don't know if it speaks well for what's going to happen in Rochester. The Twins should be pretty good, though, it looks like, and they've had a, a good spring training. Uh, some people even picking them to win the American League Central. Whether or not that filters down to the wings, though, I guess that's uh, yet to be determined. Well, you know, geez, that division's pretty horrible. I mean, there's yeah. four teams that are in total rebuild, so they're, at worst they're going to finish second, right? You would think so, and Cleveland didn't necessarily do a whole lot this offseason to improve themselves. So the Twins should be in pretty good shape. They're definitely on the upswing, and there are absolutely some guys, especially at some lower levels right now with the Twins, that should move up to the wings at some point that are very, very good. So do you feel ready? I mean, you had no. the, like, like the, basket, <laughs> no, the basketball season no. just jammed right up against uh, the yeah, start of... Not even close. <laughs> hopefully, by, uh, hopefully by April 4th, I'll be raring to go, though. Kyle, who do you like? The Red Wings are looking pretty good this year. Um, I don't I never really went to a lot of games as a kid, but now that I can, yeah, I have a car. <laughs> um, <laughs> Congrats on your driver's license. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> I go to a lot more games, and it's, it's a lot of fun because back in the day, they wouldn't do very well. And now that they're doing a lot better. And you know, we're always, we always talk about these, the, the teams locally, especially trying to always look ahead, bring in the young fans and stuff. Uh, as a guy who's, just, who's, who's getting to Red Wings games now, what are they doing that... that that's getting you out there. What initially got me there was the merchandise, the the Rochester plates. That was, I've never seen <laughs> anything that? like that before. Yeah, I, I love garbage plates. So just seeing that merchandise, I went to go get some. Um, and I, like they have those events, the bobblehead events, and they're bringing in Stanley from the office this year. Yep. That's awesome. I'm definitely going to be there. So it's it's things like that that bring younger kids in. And to further his point, as great as the baseball is, you know, both hopefully in Minnesota this year and in Rochester, I mean, the baseball for a lot of people is secondary, right? It's the events. The Rochester Red Wings know how to put on a show every single time you open the gates, right? There are events you'll go to with other sports teams where it's like, okay, this night is fun. I've never gone to a Red Wings game and have walked out of there feeling like I didn't get my money's worth and then some. It's a, it's a wonderful experience and it's great baseball too. I mean, you, you know, you're there. Yeah. Hey, don't forget Major League Night this year too with Corbin Burns. I can't. That. That's going to be fun. Roger Dorn's going to be there. You know, all those things notwithstanding, I mean, you're a baseball guy. The amount that you know about the people that are in Rochester and the teams that are coming in, uh, does it bother you at all that the results are secondary to all the rest of the stuff? Oh, not necessarily, because I understand that's part of the deal. I mean, the people that are probably listening to the games are the people that are much more invested in what's happening uh, on the field. So that's kind of my audience, I guess, as a radio broadcaster. But uh, yeah, whatever gets people to the park, I'm good with it. I have to give you a chance to like, you know, kind of pump up your own job. How much preparation do you put in when it, let's say, when a team is coming into town and to know about what you know well you know it's kind of a constant thing I mean it's it's all really almost a year-round deal for me because whenever I notice something I read on the internet or in a magazine or a newspaper whatever I'll clip it out and, and jot it down and so uh, I've got a few different uh, processes I go through to just keep track of information and so it's really tough to pin down exactly how much preparation takes place because it's really a, a constantly evolving ongoing sort of thing how many years now well, this will be uh, 17 in Rochester. That's the yeah. longest in the history of this club, right? Yeah. Thank, thanks for rubbing it in, Bill. No, they weren't rubbing it in. I mean, <laughs> is that how you look at it? Yeah. That's an accomplishment, All, the, all these Red man. Wings announcers that have graduated the big leagues. I, you know, I've, I've been here And 17. many who haven't. Yeah. Most of, uh, most of them have, but yeah. Just because they couldn't hold out. the job down yeah, here for so. 17 years. Maybe, yeah. <laughs>